Hello, I'm Colin Harris from Nowhere, and this is continuing the series on hooking up SAS and Excel. This is talking about the eighth technique in the series. As you can see, there's 11 different techniques here, and the rest of the series covers all the other techniques listed on here. This particular part is going to talk about the eighth technique, third-party control code. So what do we mean by this? What this is, is a third-party program is actually going to be interfacing to SAS to read out the appropriate information from SAS and to write that to Excel. What this does, it has allows you to have complete control of Excel. You can use the appropriate API functions to open Excel spreadsheets, rename worksheets, apply any formatting, and really customize that Excel spreadsheet in any way you wish. It's purely data that is being transferred, not information output like procedure output from Prep Tabulate or Proc Print or whatever. It's purely data that this program can read and push out to Excel. What's it good for? Well, really, we want to have complete customization and formatting. A whole range of the other techniques can be much simpler to use, but if you really need to have much better control and perfect control and customization, that's what this technique is good for. Also good for automation, because it's a program done in a programmatic way. You can be automatically looking at different tables or different formats, uh, running it at different times, and, and so on. So for automation, very, very good indeed. Also, it's probably the, the best technique for replacing DDE, if you are using that technique, Dynamic Data Exchange, which is a dated technique now, and should be really being replaced. So this is a, a very good um, technique for replacing DDE. I'm not going to go into much detail at all on how you do that because it's quite complex and depends on the different environments that you use. But just, just really to make you aware that this technique is there, it's available, and should it be appropriate for you, you can dig further to research that and determine what you need. What are the advantages of this technique? Total flexibility, complete control. You can write that programming uh, logic to do whatever you want. But on the downside, it's complex to do that, rather than a lot of the other techniques which are either point and click or a simple few lines of SAS code. As well as being complex, you need other skills beyond SAS, and you need a much more depth of programming knowledge and skills as well. So what do you need to know? You need to know about SAS integration technologies. That's the way that the programming language would interface into SAS. And as part of that, you use the SAS IOM, or Integrated Object Model, to integrate and, uh, with the SAS environment. So that's some, uh, some pretty trickier stuff to, to understand there. So that's on integrating with the SAS side. And then, of course, you're going to need your programming skills in whatever language you're going to use, whether that's VBA or whether it's Java or whatever the programming language is that you're going to program in. Thanks for watching this video, which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. The full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz, which includes references to good papers that provide more details.